Hi guys, Brown here, and welcome to a bit of a different video for a change, a bit different from my usual career mode stuff. I decided that I'd start a new series if you like it, and it's going to be called The Classic Academy, you would have seen that from the um, title. So basically what we're going to do, we're going to be using the classic cars, and we're basically going to be changing the drivers on this game that no one cares about and make people kind of, and make you kind of care about them in a way so we're going to be going up against the, the fastest class so be like, that is the from the F2 um, former um, the Ferrari F2 whatever it is the 2002 Ferrari right up to the um, 2010 Ferrari what, what you currently see in the background is the calendar that I've sort of put together for this series. I decided that let's use the tracks that I don't think anyone really uses the shorter tracks as well. Um, these are the settings that I'm going to be going through. So I'm not going to do any practice, any qualifying, 25% race. And we're going to be going straight into the race. The difficulty is the same I've been using for career and the weather all dynamic and um, we're going to be using the brawn because I thought that we that we might be going up against the 2010 cars, so the 2010 Red Bull, McLaren, and Ferrari. Sunday, but let's get into this first race in, in Mexico. Rodriguez. The cars are being prepared. Let's join them trackside for the start of the Mexican Grand Prix. The Autodromo Hermanos Rodriguez, 2.6 miles of track that allows drivers to take full advantage of their cars, reaching speeds in excess of 220 miles per hour and providing lots of opportunities for overtaking. The circuit features 17 corners, 10 to the right and the remaining 7 going to the left. So we're here just looking at um, the setups so we're just going to be using normal setups and I was planning on doing this as like as I do the career mode videos but I realised I won't have a clue who the drivers are so we're going to be doing this as from my perspective actually driving it so the lights go out here in Mexico and the car in front of us the Red Bull has got an absolute awful start and now we're heading down towards turn 1 we're into second place it's a great start from P4 I believe we started and now we're trying to get into the slipstream of that Red Bull up ahead of us and I'll go for the move down the inside try and take the lead it hasn't worked we trying to fend off the 2004 Ferrari as we go through the first chicane now heading down we're trying to get in the slipstream of that Red Bull as the Ferrari comes at us tries to get round her outside that's not happening and now we head through the tight section into the second sector of this track you see one of our teammates I do remember his name his name is Roth um, and as we head through the yes section this is the first lap that I was doing so I was still getting used to the brawn and then you can see there where are we we've made a huge mistake we went straight on at that part of the yes section and we've lost out to the Ferrari and now we're losing out to our teammate Roth going into the stadium section we've just about managed to keep him behind for now but he's gonna have a run on us get into the final corner and down the pit straight as he's right on the back of us it's, of course these cars nothing done to them um, no updates it's literally same spec cars as we go side by side and he's got us, I oh, know he hasn't, he's kept, we've just about kept him behind, he thought about it and then cut back in, he's going to follow us through the first three corners, through that chicane, but he's going to have another run on us here, as he's getting closer and closer, and he's got past us here, he's side by side of us, we're going to have to defend to the outside, and he's got us down the inside, he's forced us onto the outside line, very clever by him, I should have probably defend him a little bit harder but we are down to P4 in this race this is a replay of the start and you can see how poor the start was from that Red Bull just went nowhere at the start pretty much stalled and then this was me just trying to find 
that was literally me and our teammate on the out, on our outside so I didn't really want to do what Vettel did to Hamilton I mean the actual and um, the actual Mexican Grand Prix bit of wheel banging there with the Ferrari and now we just had to get a good exit the 2004 Ferrari is so quick in a straight line it was very quick on the 2018 F1 game last year and this is the mistake we made through over the grass and nearly lost the back end through goes, through, through goes the Ferrari and nearly through goes our teammate as well now skipping on this is another replay this is my angle of when he absolutely bulleted it down the inside tried to do the switch back and it just didn't work he was just too quick he carried too much speed into that corner as well and now we just kind of got to sit here it was such a frustrating race I can tell you that bit now as the Ferrari tries to go down the inside of the Red Bull into the first corner I think this, this series is going to take me a little while to get used to the names and then um, we can start calling the actual names so Ferrari going wheel to wheel as we try to go down the inside we break very late to avoid a collision and the Red Bull He's got damage to his front wing and he's pulling off the track. And he is out. And now we've got confirmation of that incident and his name is oh dear. I'm not sure how I meant to say that. But we'll just stick to calling him the Red Bull driver for now. <laughs> so that promotes us into the podium position into P3. The Ferrari now leads from our teammate Roth. And we are third. We head around the final corner. And we're off our teammate. Glue into the back of that Ferrari like a prick stick. As we set the fastest lap of the race. And you can see we, just, we keep topping out. We top out at 193. We've caught the back of our teammate now. Headed into the S yes section. We've gone bit a bit deep there we head through and you can just see how much understeer I'm getting from the dirty air oh but that was something I was really struggling with in this race as we get into the stadium section now we're all over the place we break a little bit deep there into the stadium section and we get a massive tank slapper as we take a big chunk of the curb and now can we get the slipstream off our teammate and past him we can try but the, one of the big problems I had was obviously the cars are exactly the same and we kept topping out so, so obviously if the straight is that long that we're going to top out at the same point so what I'm thinking is is that he was topping out and then I was in his slipstream also topping out so I couldn't get anywhere near him and of course the Ferrari is so quick in a straight line so no one could get near the Ferrari so I kind of sat here all race long just sat here in third and it was a bit boring I was it was really frustrating as well you can see we set the fastest lap again there um, into turn one, into turn two, now, into turn three. You can actually see um, my gloves. That was something that I thought of. I actually, um, I actually have the um, Senna. I bought I bought the game early, so I got the Senna and Prost DLC um, with it. So I've got Prost gloves and I'm, I'm wearing Senna's race suit as well. And then we've, we just got my career mode helmet as well. Maybe thinking of having like a classic helmet just for these episodes. Yes, if you like these episodes, I might record a couple more and then see what you think. If we go through the first chicane again, you can see every time we get onto the back of the top two, we make a mistake and we have to do it all over again. We've gone very deep there. We've had to cut the corner, we get a warning for corner cutting. And now we're right on the back of the of the top two. We actually set the fastest lap, so I think 
if the FIA potentially were looking at that, they would probably take the fast lap off of me. Bearing in mind, I did completely cut a corner and then go on to set the fastest lap. But you can see here, as I was saying about topping out, we tried to go for the lunge. But I, I just can't get carried in the slipstream and go with the overspeed because our teammate is topping out, we're topping out, and we just kind of sat there, not really being able to do a lot. So the only way really to overtake him is to literally be touching his gearbox And we're going to try and go for a lunge but he's blocked us off That's great defending by him there And then to be honest I think that was only really my one chance to get him Because you'll see here as we go through the S action again The turbulent air once again is starting to kick in We're all over the place and now can we go for it potentially down the inside of thinking about it <laughs> we hit the apex and now maybe down the inside into the stadium section like the Stappen did but not quite close enough there and he just gets such a good run through that second part of the stadium section after you go through the hairpin and here I just try to sit in the slipstream but I just you can see as I was saying earlier the overspeed just doesn't kick in, we just sit at 193 and there's just nothing, we're not getting carried in the overspeed in the slipstream, there's just nothing as we're pretty much touching Ross from Wink here we're closing, we're closing, I thought about doing this series with um, the 2010 McLaren but I thought we'll go 20, um, the 2009 Braun make it a little bit harder for ourselves because I thought we would majority be battling the Red the 2010 Red Bull, McLaren and Ferrari but going off of this race we're kind of battling amongst ourselves in the Bronze and the Ferraris but the classic cars differ so much if you if you use some of the classic cars As we, every time we get close we just get close in the wrong parts of the track as we go for the lunge down the inside and he's pinched us into the apex that's not on and we're going to try now and get him but we're going to have the same issue yet again this is lap 14 so there's 5 to go and we skip on another lap and the understeer look through there we make another mistake and we've lost a lot of time there Heading into the second, heading into the final corner. This is a lap later, this is lap 17, so a couple laps later. We set the fast lap again every time someone goes set the fast lap, we just get it back. And now, as we round the final corner, it's been a frustrating race, we just kind of had to sit there going round and round and round, couldn't get close enough. We're going to take home P3 and the fastest lap, which I don't think counts. Top three making their way down to the podium for what can only be described as a fantastic day for Formula One. So that's been this first race, as you can see, it was Kaufman who, run, who won the first race. And then the one that retired, the Red Bull driver, was Lesto, I think that's how you say it. A Canadian driver. But um, this is the driver standings. If you've enjoyed this first episode of the Classic Academy and you want to see another, let me know in the comments below. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.